Hi. <laughs> this is another camera news video. I'm kind of surprised that I'm posting another one so soon, but there's been so much news. In a, the last week, three new cameras were introduced, and um, everybody has just been surprised and talking about it all over YouTube. Um, of course, a lot of the uh, people who post videos about cameras and things like that are all talking about what's next. Uh, you know, I'm sure that there will be things coming up next. Um, but just a quick advertisement. Um, please like and share and subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to build my audience so that I can start doing some live streams when I'm creating in my studio. So I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and like and share my videos. That would be cool. Thank you. And also, I want to thank all of my supporters on patreon.com slash yourartdude. Please check out that website and uh, follow me there and like those videos. There's dedicated chat for subscribers on there, so that's kind of cool. But anyway, back to the topic. The three cameras that came out this week are uh, from one from Pentax. It's called the Pentax 17. It is uh, their first real film camera in many, many years, probably decades. Um, and Pentax is an unusual camera maker because they are focusing on film cameras and they do updates and things like that to their existing line. But this is the first new camera uh, that actually shoots 35 millimeter film. And uh, <clears throat> when I began uh, my photography, when I was in uh, school at university, uh, that's all there was was 35 millimeter. Well, there was four by five film, and but everything was film. And uh, all the manufacturers, the major manufacturers, all made 35 millimeter cameras to shoot 35 millimeter film. Kodak, which still exists, believe it or not, um, is still making film for cameras. And interestingly enough, Kodak was the first company that invented, not the first company, but the company that invented digital cameras. They just kind of like, and they put put them out and everything, but they just didn't really give give it a big push because that wasn't their big money maker. Their big money maker was films and selling film and developing film and printing prints of photographs that were made with film. But anyway, so Pentax has now put out the Pentax 17, their new film camera. So that's pretty cool. Bravo, Pentax. <laughs> and in that same realm of unbelievable stuff that's happening this week with cameras, Fujifilm uh, launched their Instax Wide 400. And it's a really cool camera. It, uh, if any of you uh, don't know, there was a camera back in the day that no longer exists called Polaroid. And they used to make film cameras, but it was a, a type of film that you put in your camera and you take a, a photograph, an image, and out would slide an image. And on this little packet of film, film was inside this little packet, and it would sit there and develop the image while you watched it and create, show you the photograph that you just took, which is really cool. Well, this Fujifilm camera does the same thing. It's not the same size format. I believe it's a smaller size, but it's basically the same concept. And it's a really cool camera that you can take, and especially with street photography, or if you're going to a party or a family event or something like that, and take them, those photos, and pass them around and show people when you're at these events. It's kind of a, a really cool way to share the experience with, uh, with people. And of course, the big, uh, thing that most people are talking about is the new Nikon Z6 III. Uh, the Z6 is kind of like a video uh, specific kind of camera. It's made for videographers, content creators, things like that who post on YouTube and other types of websites. But the, the focus of that camera is more video oriented. It does take stills, of course, but it the innovative quality of this new uh, Z6 III camera is it has a partially stacked sensor, which is, I mean, revolutionary. It's a way for them to advance 
the technology of the camera with the um, uh, high speed sensor that they have been putting in their flagship cameras like the Z9 and the Z8. And um, it's now in the Z6 III with a partially stacked sensor, which is unusual and really cool. So that's what happened this week in camera news. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.